Hi friends, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 32 of ASP.NET. The last video we discussed about disconnection oriented architecture and the steps we need to follow while working with disconnection oriented architecture. Is it clear? Today we'll discuss about grid view control. Basically in disconnection oriented architecture, three steps are there. Design the data bound control, prepare the data source, attach the data source to the data bound control. The most powerful uh, control in uh, disconnection oriented architecture is grid view control. Is it clear? The main purpose of grid view is it is used to display the data from data set to front end because end user will interact with the browser. Ariva.net is a technology which will act like a mediator between uh, which will act which is used to communicate with the database server which will bring the result and send the result to the browser and whatever the result that is uh, coming to the browser if you want to display the data in the form of table we have to take the support of grid view control. Is it clear? It is one of the collection control, which looks like a table, the HTML table, server side control, grid view control. Okay. So here we already discussed in the last class. About how to display the data in the grid view. So here go to your solution explorer. There you can see project right click on the project add new item select web form add new item and there you can select what web form and here the name i will try to give something like page one dot aspx i'll give the name as page one dot aspx click on add button this is my design okay now so here uh, today we'll discuss about the properties that are available within the grid view control the property predefined properties and uh, events that are available <coughs> let us see one by one first of all i will try to display the data in the grid view as we already done in the last class here i will show you that one first go to web.config file declare the connection string globally so here go to web.config file and declare the connection string globally is it clear we already say in the past videos we have discussed about how to declare the connection string globally now here go to your toolbox drag and drop grid view control from toolbox here you can drag and drop this is your grid view control simply drag and drop grid view control from toolbox and if you want to format the grid view in a different uh, styles select auto format and here you can give colorful click on ok then automatically you can see here if you want to increase the font you can give bold and here you can give double x large so now i want to display the data in the grid view so for double click on the uh, code uh, design window you can see the code window here i'll try to declare the namespace using system dot data and here using system dot data dot sql client using system dot data dot sql client and one more namespace using system dot configuration and here i'll try to write the code inside the page load sql connection con is equal to new sql connection of here i'll try to write something like configuration manager dot connection strings of con str dot to string create the connection next pass the query sql data adapter da is equal to new sql data adapter of here you can write the query select star from emp comma con and then execute the query. pass the query then create an object for a data set ds is equal to new data set of then fill the data da dot fill of ds comma table name any example you do in grid view these steps are common first we need to display the data in the grid view then attach the data grid view one dot data source is equal to ds and again grid view one dot data bind is it clear now press f5 and check the output the data will be displayed in the grid so this is how i have displayed the data in the front end so there are some uh, uh, properties that are available in the grid view control we'll discuss one by one so grid view means it is used to display the data in the data from data set in front end we can perform different types of operations like deleting editing pasting, sorting within the grid view control some set of properties are first one is id Every ASP.NET control will have ID. ID is the name given for the control. 
the main purpose of ID is to identify the control. And here you can see one more property called auto generate columns is equal to true. So it is a Boolean property which will return either true or false. If auto generate columns is equal to true, it is not required to generate the code for templates. Generally, if you want to design the data bound control like grid view control, we need to take the support of templates like header template, item template. But when auto generate columns property is set to true, it is not required to generate the code for templates. Is it clear? Mostly when we will use auto generate columns is equal to false means if you want to customize the grid view control. If you want to customize the grid view control means if you want to perform any other operations apart from display the data like deleting or editing then we have to set auto generate columns is equal to false here you see by default auto generate columns is equal to true just if you want to display the data you have to keep true but if you want to perform any other operations like deleting operation editing in that scenario we have to set auto generate columns is equal to false next auto generate delete button is equal to true this property is used to display when this property is set to true then a delete button is displayed within the grid view control here you can see auto generate edit button is equal to true if this property is set to true then an edit button is displayed within the grid view control auto generate select button is equal to true if this property is true a select button is displayed within the grid view control these are all the properties so this is called as grid view customization if you want to perform any operations like deleting editing selecting then you have to set auto generate columns is equal to false similarly you can see another property called yellow pacing yellow pacing is equal to true if yellow pacing is equal to true then automatically page numbers are displayed within the grid view control in google you can see if you search any result in google it will display only 10 uh, links remaining uh, next you have to go to the next page similarly you have one more property called page size here you can give the page size as two or three then how many record the number of pages you want to display within the grid view is because database will have bulk data will be there so millions of records are there you cannot display all the millions of records in the browser right maximum browser will display only 10 records that is the reason search engine optimization is very important seo search engine optimization means what uh, giving ranking to your particular uh, website so that the site will come into the top level similarly in google also if you search anything the top uh, most of the users will click on first three to four links only google will give some rank okay na? and uh, the next level pages will go to the next pages so pacing is it clear yellow pacing is equal to true similarly yellow sorting is equal to true yellow sorting means all your column names will convert into hyperlinks so whenever user clicks on uh, the column name it will sort the data based on this column names these all operations you can perform with grid view first one is id second one auto generate columns third one auto generate delete button auto generate edit button auto generate select button yellow pacing yellow sorting you have one more property called show header show header means header row is enabled show header is also a boolean property so can i here you can see show header will be there show header here you can see if i give false means you cannot see the head heading header column true means you can see the header columns similarly show footer you can see the footer column if you want to enable the footer column you have to set show footer this is customization actually in which format you want to display the data for that you have to set all these properties similarly page size these are all the properties that are available within the grid view auto generate columns mostly when to use auto generate columns is equal to false means if you want to perform any other operations like deleting operation editing operation paging operation select operation sort operation then we have to set auto generate columns is equal to false okay so here you see i will try to press f5 and once show you the output let us see 
now here you see because of these properties you can see all these things but when you click on delete my requirement is i want to delete this record in the grid view similarly i want to delete the record from the database also but it is not possible you have to write the code is it clear similarly when you click on select edit we need to write some code did you understand in order to write the generally when user clicks on button we want to perform some operation so double click on button and write the code but there are some predefined events that are available with grid view as a developer you must know the event names is it clear everyone as a developer you must know that so as a developer you must know the event names row deleting so whenever user clicks on delete button then i want to perform some operation i want to write some logic that code you will write inside the row deleting event row editing whenever under double click on row deleting and write the code similarly row editing here you see row editing this event will fire whenever user clicks on edit button this row updating this event will fire whenever user clicks on update button row canceling edit this event will fire whenever user clicks on cancel button so as a developer you must know where to write the code double click on button and write the code until now double click on drop down list and write the code similarly now we are playing with grid view control grid view is a very powerful control in asp.net but nowadays nobody is using grid when you come to mvc because html is more powerful directly displaying the data in html elements but in asp the powerful topic is grid only okay na so it is a server side control so as a developer you must know where to write the code is it clear see whenever user clicks on delete button i want to delete the record no so select the grid view right click go to properties there you can see a properties window this is properties this is events window events here you can see row deleting event double click on row deleting event and write the code here if you want here you can see just i will write one message response dot write off is it clear delete button click it delete button i am not writing any code just i want to show you whether this event is firing or not events are used to invoke the methods actually in asp.net the methods will be automatically generated depending on the user interaction event will invoke the method because always logic you have to write inside the method only see whenever i click on delete button then here you got the message delete button clicked are you following similarly whenever user clicks on edit button then row editing event will fire so as a developer you must know these event names property because you have to write the code now you must have wait to write the code here row editing event will fire okay now here also i'll try to display one message response dot write off edit button click it edit button click it response dot write off edit button click okay now similarly whenever user clicks on select button selected index changed event will fire that is the default event of grid selected index changed event will fire so here also i want to display you you must know the event names so that you can write the code is it clear everyone so here you can see selected index changed event will fire here select button is clicked okay now so whenever user clicks on page number then page index changing event will fire page index changing event will fire you need to understand the event names actually is it clear here i will try to give something like page number clicked page number clicked if you want you can see once press f5 later we'll write the code in that particular methods actually grid view is very powerful control in your total area dot net select select button clicked delete delete button clicked edit edit button clicked and here select the page number page number clicked is it clear like this cancel update like lot of events are there as a developer you must know when to use which one is it clear everyone so in this video we discussed about grid view control and the properties and events that are associated with grid view control in the next video we'll discuss about examples about one by one for more videos try to subscribe to this channel thank you